Hola, mi gente. I hope everybody's doing well. Today's episode is going to be a little bit of a special one. I got a request from a friend of mine, Vince, who happens to be a photographer, cinematographer, and blogger. And he also shares a, an interest in food and wine and all that good stuff. Anyways, he and his wife both asked me to do Spanish food. And I looked around my cupboard and I said, you know what? I can pull this one off. This one's going to come from the Valencia region, which is on the Mediterranean coast, southeast Spain. It's very interesting food that comes out of that area because a lot of historical movement goes through that area. We have Phoenicians and Greeks introducing wine to the area. We have the Romans introducing olives, engineering roads, aqueducts, and improvements in agriculture and in customs. And we also have the Moors, who came in through Africa, and they introduced almonds from Iran, oranges from Southeast Asia, and rice. And all of these ingredients play together in the dish that I'm going to do for you. So this one's for you, Vince and Eva. Let's check it out. Fish from the Mediterranean coasts, olives and almonds, and of course oranges. Lots of oranges. All brought to you by the Moors. Here we go. Today's dish, pescado a la naranja. First, we're gonna need four to six oranges, or at least enough to give you 250 mils of orange juice and a garnish. We're also gonna need half of an onion. We're also gonna need two bay leaves. And then from there, we're also gonna need some ground almonds that have been toasted. Now you can do this in a frying pan or in a low oven, just until you get a nice nutty smell off of it. And we're also going to need for our sauce, some butter, approximately 42 grams worth. And to enhance the flavor, we're going to need two grams of paprika or pimenton. If you can get pimenton, get it. It's really tasty. We're also going to need 20 grams of local honey for sweetness, 80 mils of white wine, and 300 grams of white fish. Traditionally, a grouper or meru was used, but anyways, let's go on to making the sauce. We dice up half the onion. Then, we're going to take the zest off of some of the oranges and one lemon. This is to enhance the flavor of the sauce at the end. So now we chop our oranges in half and we start juicing them. Keep one for garnish, but we need at least a cup's worth of juice. Then we melt the butter on low heat in a pan. And then from this point, we add in our diced onions. On a low heat, we want to cook them for about eight minutes until they're soft and translucent. Sort of like this. Then. We add our orange juice to the onions. And then we're also going to add our bay leaves and our honey. Now we're going to bring this up to the boil on a medium heat. And then once it boils, we add our white wine. Boil it down to half, take out the bay leaves, and then we're going to transfer this into a clean pan. It takes about 10 minutes. Put the sauce in a clean pan with 20 grams of the almonds. This gives it a nutty flavor and helps it thicken. We blend it all together. The result will be a very smooth, orangey sauce that looks like this. And to enhance the flavor even further, we're gonna add those zests that we made earlier on. And we're just gonna keep it warm. And that's it, your orange sauce is done. For the garnish, we take one of the best looking oranges we cut a slice off, cut it down the middle, twist it, and there you go. A nice fancy orange slice. Now on to frying the fish. Traditionally it's done on a plancha or a flat top, but any hot pan with about 30 mils of oil will do. We add some pimenton or smoked paprika to some flour, about 70 grams worth. And this is what we're going to dredge our fish in. So we take our fillet put it in the flour and we mix it around make sure it's all coated and then we're just going to give it a gentle pat to make sure the extra flour is off and we put it into the hot oil 
Now, once you look around the edges of the fish and they start to turn color, you'll know it's time to flip. So we get a spatula and then we flip our fish over into the hot oil so it's browned on the other side. Now fish cooks very fast. It should take a maximum of five to eight minutes depending on the thickness of the filet. So we let it fry out a little bit here. And then from this point, we take it out and put it on some paper towels to get rid of the extra oil. Now it's time to sauce it. We get that heated orange sauce, pour some over our filet of fish. We get some more ground almonds, sprinkle it around to give it some texture and some more flavor. And finally, what we do is we get one of our nice orange slices that we made earlier and we put it on top of our fish. And there you have it. It's ready to go. It's a very sweet dish, reminiscent of the Mediterranean. A bit of sunshine in this cold winter. You get citrus, almonds, and fish. Cheers, everybody.